Another day for close calls at the World Cup with both teams scoring their winning shots in extra time. With very little time left, Argentina scored and kicked Switzerland to the curb with a 1-0 victory. And Belgium scored twice against the United States in extra time. The U.S. was able to score one goal with time running out, but it simply wasn't enough. CCTV's Joel Richards joins us live from Rio de Janeiro with the latest on the World Cup. Uh, evening, Mike. Well, uh, the quarterfinal stage then now ahead of us and um, the round of 16 all over. For the first time, all match, all group winners have uh, won, uh, have gone through to the uh, to this quarterfinal stage. That's a historic first, and as you said, it's a, uh, a real disappointment for the USA. They held on. It's such a difficult uh, match for them, but Tim Howard in goal proving the heroics, but it wasn't enough in the end. Uh, closer to home, though, Argentina were really pushed right to the very end by uh, Switzerland. Uh, back in Buenos Aires, of course, so much expectation in Buenos Aires and across Argentina as uh, really one of the South American powerhouses expected to perform uh, very well in this World Cup, but still haven't really produced that kind of form. And they had to go right till the very end with that late goal from Angel de Maria. Uh, and I believe now that we can hear some of the reaction from supporters in, in Buenos Aires. I almost died. We couldn't be out of the World Cup. It was unbelievable. But, well, we won. The match was really, really difficult. We played a lot. I have faith in my team. We will get into the semi and then play the final. Honestly, it was, I had a heart attack while watching it. I was so scared during the game. You know what, Messi is still the best, I think. Even though he, he wasn't as good this game, but he still, I think he was a huge contribution to the game, team. It was really nerve-wracking. When Rojo got the yellow card, I like was on the edge of my seat, and so many close calls. <laughs> it was it was really nerve wracking. Oh, definitely Argentina, 100 <laughs> percent. So a very uh, nerve wracking, as we heard, there, nail biting finish for Argentina. But of course, Mike, the most important thing for coach Alejandro Savela's side is that they're through to the quarterfinal stage, and uh, they must now regroup. Uh, Nerve-wracking. I almost had a heart attack. Boy, that really sums up uh, the feelings of the fans there. Does this match against Switzerland pose questions about whether they can actually challenge for the title, though? Well, it really does, because I think for many people, many neutral supporters, uh, they want to see a Brazil-Argentina final here in, in Rio on, on July the 13th. But, uh, but so far, Argentina really struggling to find their form, and they're coming up against very solid defences, and they're not really providing the football. Leo Messi is, of course, the, the world superstar, the Barcelona star, but the, Argentina fully relying on him. And today, it was his assist that helped them through. But nonetheless, uh, they haven't really produced that kind of football just yet. So big questions about whether we'll get that all, all South American final here in Rio. All right, Joel Richards, live for us there in Rio. Thanks so much.